Well, major news breaking yesterday evening. The Lord Frost was resigning as Brexit minister in Boris Johnson's government, piling more pressure onto Boris Johnson and his government after, of course, that big defeat at the North Shropshire by-election. Now, those of you who watched my last video when it became to the negotiations with the EU over the role of the ECJ in the Northern Ireland Protocol, that I was talking there, uh, questioning about what the hell was going on because you were seeing all sorts of contradictory briefings going on as to whether the UK government's position had shifted when it comes to the ECJ and the protocol or not. And so we'd seen uh, a couple of reports that said the UK had effectively backed down, capitulated in this negotiation. And then following that, dramatically, Frost resigning as Brexit minister for Boris Johnson's government. And of course, a big blow because, as I said in the previous video, you know, Brexiteers, I think, do respect Lord Frost. He had stood his ground in negotiations with the EU. He isn't popular in Brussels, but he has clearly laid out his concerns when it comes to the direction of travel uh, on the economy, on the government's economic uh, policy direction. And of course, talk again of even further restrictions, perhaps even a Christmas lockdown. And a senior Tory backbencher quoted in the Telegraph as saying, the trouble is Frost speaks for the party. This is the beginning of the end. A senior minister saying they were not surprised at Frost quitting the cabinet, saying, I know he opposed plan B. The PM supporters are the ones who are least keen on the restrictions. The ones who want to undermine him want the restrictions. Frost going just proves that. But I think this story does relate, as I said, to the ECJ, to the negotiations ongoing with the EU. It's been reported that Frost was told Boris Johnson didn't want to trigger Article 16 or make ECJ jurisdiction on the protocol a red line. At some reaction from Brexiteers after this dramatic resignation, and Nigel Farage saying Lord Frost is leaving the government because he is a Conservative and true Brexiteer. Boris Johnson is neither. Kate Hoey, of course, the former Labour MP, saying terrible news. The only minister who understood the protocol couldn't work. Brilliant in the Lords with the many, many EU zealots and rejoiners. Calm and thoughtful. A big blow to government. Shows how far they have moved from taking back control over the protocol. This, as I say, piles more pressure onto Boris Johnson. Brexiteers now will be wondering about the future direction of this government, of the Conservative Party. What will Boris Johnson do next? From my point of view, and I've said this a couple of times now, you know, the government, I think, should stop being strung along in these negotiations with the EU and trigger Article 16. They should commit to tens of thousands net migration per year, which we can now do outside of the EU. They should commit to building a grammar school, a new grammar school, in the poorest postcodes of this country. They should commit to getting the hell out of the ECHR, as Theresa May, as Home Secretary, said the UK should do. Let me know what you make of those suggestions. What do you think Boris Johnson and his government should do moving forward? And what do you make of this dramatic resignation? As ever, I'll keep bringing you all the very latest on this and more. So make sure you have hit subscribe and the bell. Please do give this video a big thumbs up. It really does help out the channel. And of course, as ever, guys, thanks so much for watching.